this one's on. I'm going to turn this down for now, but you can turn it back up. Right. Um, and then that's your mic. Hello. Hello. Cool. All right. I'm on my mic. Cool. So, hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Gabby Lanreno Russum, and this is Body Vision West. And uh, today we have a special Halloween edition with guest Hansel and Gretel. Uh, Body Vision West is the Hansel Gretel. Hansel slash Gretel. I knew I was going to say it wrong. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, Body Vision West is a New York local offshoot of my residency show, Body Vision, on Mutant Radio Tbilisi. Both shows explore the connections between body, sound, memory, and knowing. And I feel like there's some kind of very cool connection between your really wonderful project. I'm such a huge fan of this project. And Delilah, like, you and I have had some chances to like talk about this expansive thing of folk tales, folk, mus- uh, folk tales, dance music, all this stuff. Um, and I'm very excited to hear more of your perspective. So I'm going to ask the question that I ask, but instead of like bringing it back, because I'm not going to play, because you're all going to take over, I'm going to ask the question, and then I'm just going to hand it over to you. You answer the question, you play, and like, have an amazing time. Everybody enjoy Hansel Gretel. And I'm um, really happy to have you all here. Uh, also, Delia and Hunter in individual names. All right, so when I say these four words, bodies, sound, memory, and knowing, what are the first things you think of in relation to your project? First of all, Reina, thank you so much for having us on your show. You have been a supporter of this project since before we even fully knew what it was. So we're really grateful to be here. Um, bodies, sound, memory, and knowing. So I think when I hear bodies and sound, I think of my memories of being on the dance floor. And I think there's a certain sense of knowing that comes to me during a really good DJ set or a good party. You could call it intuition, psychic energy, but it feels like I'm tapping into like a deeper understanding of myself and my own life. And that's sort of what we're trying to achieve with this project, but with the deeper knowing of folktales. Yeah, and I think of the the way that oral history, fairy tales, folktales live within (laughs) us and the ways that we can explore them in different ways um, in this contemporary time and through music and how it's all like in our bones and in our flesh already and from the way we've been raised in the culture. Um, and how we can, yeah, reclaim it or claim it for the first time, live it differently. I know I said I was going to get off the mic right as I finished, but I decided to say thank you both for that and excited for your set and enjoy everybody. Hansel Gretel on Body Vision West.
Once upon a time, a family lived in the woods. They chopped up wood to get by. Slowly but surely, the bread began to disappear. It seemed as though they might die. No bread anywhere. Many mouths. They were hungry. The mother looked at the children, Hansel and Gretel, and saw more mouths to feed. Many mouths. Mouths, 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 wanting. Desperation. Wanting. 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 Uh, wait, is, is this story okay for you? I, I know it's Halloween, but I'm realizing I didn't ask you before we started, and it's getting a little scary, right? Are you hungry right now? I bet if you thought about it long enough, you'd decide you were hungry. It's okay if you're hungry. Being human is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. Have you ever noticed how hungry you are? Dissatisfied. Any knowledge in the universe, any experience is yours to consume. All of this can or will be mine if I want it. Consumption will make me feel whole. Plug the leak, dissociated from land, roots, community. A trade-off for the hunger for wealth, power, resources, bread. 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 This is a story. And this is a universal, absolutely correct version. This is the first time you've ever heard this story. This never-before-told story from my lips of Hansel and Gretel. Oh shit, Hansel and Gretel. Fuck, what page are we on? Can someone tell me where we are? Where we are? I'm talking about the Brothers Grimm. Jacob, Wilhelm. You've heard of them, right? The story I'm telling you, they claimed it. Claimed it for what they called Germany they wanted a part in creating. They captured it, wrote it down. But the same folk tales show up in many different languages and cultures. Here in the United States, we have grim under the skin. Whatever the time is in the States, it is always, at every moment, the magical and blessed hour when the lost children find a house made of candy in the woods. Wait. But what happens after that? Okay, okay, right, okay. I know this story. I know this story. I know it, it's mine. This story is mine. I know this story. I know this story. I know this story is mine. It's mine. I know this story. Ancestors. Something about ancestors? Something about... About your body. It's in your body. The story is in your body.
here, father was gone, but mother has been here, and father was gone, but mother was here, and mother was here, and mother was here, and mother was here. So mother was there, and father was gone, mostly. And mother just wanted things to go right. And wanted you to be right. But when father came home without bread, she paused. And she looked at the two of you carefully. How could things be made right? Father's here. There's no bread. There's no bread. There's no bread. Why is father here when there's no bread? No bread. No bread. most children, home is first mother and father. Early on, place is people. Home is mother and father. How far back do I need to go to find those before the hunger? Before the loss of home. Have you ever sat at home? wanted to go home. mother's praise, her affection, mommy, mom, mom, do you want mother, do you want mother's praise, her affection, mother, mother, mom, 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 Mother! Mom! led you into the forest. For some reason, it didn't occur to you that you could say something. You didn't have to follow. What did occur to you was to drop breadcrumbs so you could find your way back home. Drop, drop. Maybe they were waiting for you to say something. Drop, drop. To realize you could say something. you knew is they wanted you to follow, and you knew how to do what other people wanted, breadcrumbs to follow. 
breadcrumbs to find your way home. Drop, 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 drop. What is home? Drop, drop. How far back do I need to go to find those before the hunger? Before the loss of home. Drop, drop, drop. Finally, you arrived at a clearing in the woods you had never been to before, and your parents told you and your sibling to wait there while they went off to chop wood. Chop, chop. They said they'd be back soon. You knew better than to believe them. Do you want to go back home? What is home, anyways? The days grow shorter and the woods crowd in. You've been walking for three days trying to find your way back home. Trees grow taller, birds call louder, shadows longer. You know you have to keep going. You know the fear won't change anything. You've been walking for three days. Three days. You'd been walking for three days. I, I'm, I, I'm hungry. I can't think straight. I'm hungry, 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 starving. You're confused. When you're angry, you get confused. When she's angry, you get confused. When she's angry, you're angry. When she's hungry, you're hungry. She did this for you. She did this for you. The first time you realized your hunger was her hunger, you were confused. No, you were angry. Angry. But you wanted, wanted. The anger was hunger, was longing. You let her anger fill you, fill all the places that we're hungry is a kind of food. Does, does, am I hungry? Am I delirious? Am I confused? Am I hungry? Am I delirious? Am I confused? I take the physical to communicate on phase two. The birds are calling to you. You may not believe me when I tell you that they were once children like you. And that could be said for your parents, too. They were once children like you. But the birds, they searched and searched the forest, seeking something, and they found your breadcrumbs. The birds thought there wasn't enough, here in this forest, rippling with seeds and fruit. They thought they needed to get what they could and get it now. No breadcrumbs. No way home. You can't go home to dinner. You can't go home to be tucked in. You can't go home to mother. Mother doesn't want you. The witch is near. She can smell you. Do you want the witch? She wants you. Do you want the witch's praise? She wants to praise you. Do you want the witch's affection? She wants to give you affection. Do you want the witch? She wants you. The witch wants to consume you. Close the distance.
between herself and the limitless possibility of you. the Grimms control your past? Are you going to let me control your past? Are you going to let the Grimms control your future? Should I control your future? The witch's house. The witch's house. 
the witch's house. We must push on. We move forward. Toward the witch, toward the witch, toward the witch, toward the witch. You know she's waiting. You know she's there. You know she's inevitable. So why can't we meet her with open arms? Sometimes the things we have to do are scary.
made of bread? Is that, is that candy? Do you, do you think I'm so hungry? Do you think we can eat it? Can we? Please, 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 can we eat it? You were eating her house. Lick, 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 gulp, 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 chomp, 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 chomp. You were eating her house. You were eating her house. Yum. Were you hungry? You were hungry. You were so hungry. Say it. Say, I'm hungry. You were hungry. You were eating her house. watching you eat. She invites you in. She says she'll feed us. How nice. She seems nice. Is nice what she is? At first she seemed concerned with you. What do you need? Do you have enough to eat? Are you comfortable? Do you feel safe? It felt like you were her only concern. She was concerned with you. That's a little scary, isn't it? Have you ever been the first priority? You were, after all, left in the forest. You were wary. Do you trust her? Shouldn't this be the way it is? Shouldn't this? Shouldn't this? So you sat at her table. And you ate. And you ate. And you ate. You're eating. You ate that. Wait, is the witch your mother? No, that can't be. Unless... Mother or witch, witch or mother. What's the difference? Other, other, other. Mother or witch, witch or mother. What's the difference, mother, son, son? Mother or witch? Witch or mother? What's the difference? Suffer, suffer, suffer. Mother? Witch? Witch? Mother? Mother? Witch? Witch? Mother?
One morning, after eating and eating, you awoke to an empty bed beside you. Where's Hansel? You made your way to the kitchen. Where's Hansel? The witch is there. She says, follow me. Around the house. To the back. There you are. Hansel in the cage. Hansel in the chicken coop. The witch was going to eat you. And she wants you to help make your sibling plump. You will help, she says. Did you have a choice? Do you have a choice? Do we have a choice? You're complicit. You're complicit. You're helping the witch fatten your sibling to eat. You're just a girl. You're just a baby. You're just a little child. What's a girl to do? What's a citizen to do? What's an American to do? What's a girl to do in the witch's house? What's a girl to do in America? You're just a baby. You're just a little child. She's hungry and you're in her house. What choice do you have but to help her feed? You're in her house. What we are within, we struggle to see a way out of. What we are within, we struggle to imagine changed. You'd been in the cage for days and days. The past, the present, the future. They begin to blur. The witch was fed up. She was hungry. She says, turn on the oven. Tell me if it's hot. You knew. You knew she would shut the oven door. And that would be the end. So, you're just a baby. You're just a little child and you don't understand. You told the witch, I don't understand. Can you show me how? Show me how. Show me how. The witch is angry. You're so stupid that you don't understand. She goes to the oven to show you how. She's going to eat you. You have to do something. You have to protect your sibling. And there she is right in front of the oven. Leaning in. Feel the fire. Feel the heat. Feel the flame. She leans into the oven. Feel the heat. Feel the fire. She's going to eat you. What do you do?
You push. You shove. Into the fire. Into the flames. Shut the door behind her. Shut the door. Into the fire. The witch is on fire. She's burning alive. You shut the door. Watch her up in smoke. Rage at the world for its hardship. Rage at the birds for their hunger. Before, you didn't have time to feel this. Before, you simply had to survive. But now, you feel. You start telling yourself a different story. You change the narrative. You remember her jewels. She's rich. Take her jewels. Put them in your pockets like breadcrumbs. And go. Go. Back into the forest. 
back into the unknown. Go. Go. Jewels. Rich. You don't need anyone. You're finally rich. Who needs anyone when you're rich? Fuck them. Fuck your parents. Fuck everyone who wronged you. They abandoned you. You don't need your parents anymore now that you're rich. Burn the house down. You're rich. Burn daddy's house down. Just like you burned that witch alive. what you always dreamed? Is this what you wanted? you and your sibling in the woods and you found your way through you found your way to the witch's house and then you survived you outsmarted her to escape so that she couldn't eat you and now now what do you do you go back to your parents' house? developed a different strength, one that reminds you you don't have to throw everything away when you want something else. You don't have to avoid conflict. Your parents abandoned you in the woods, but going back to your parents could be a space to make change, to embrace conflict with others.
they did what they could with the perspective they had. Your parents left you in the woods because they didn't know what else to do. But you have the power to offer them a new perspective. When you avoid conflict with others, you create conflict with yourself. You push on. Toward the house. Toward the house. Toward home. Toward home. Breathe. Breathe. There is no such thing as a happy ending. An ending is when the work begins. Sometimes the things we have to do are scary. Toward home. Toward home. There is no such thing as a happy ending. An ending is when the work begins.